Justin Bieber terrorizes people in Walmart. Ariana clears up some of those salmon cat rumors. And Katy Perry releases new single art. We have got all of this and more on today's Rundown. TGIF Cleverettes, Ooh. welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Erin Robinson here with Justy Digma. Hey guys, it's me, Justy Dingma, <laughs> filling in for Misty Kingma. <laughs> right, Jocelyn Davis <laughs> has transformed into my new co-host today. Yeah, and to play along today. I, I have to walk a little Misty fashion. Love the Misty inspiration. Yes, You're of rocking course. it. So you guys, today on the show, we're picking out a brand new cleverette, so you gotta stay tuned for that for later. But we gotta jump into our top story right now because there's so much news to cover, starting with Justin Bieber. <laughs> Dear people, we are not safe from the Biebs anywhere. He's everywhere, terrorizing people, even at Walmart. This is out of control. If he goes to Target and does something similar, I might have to retire from life. <laughs> from life. Online shopping only. <laughs> okay, so here's the story. Justin Bieber apparently arrived to a Walmart in his hometown of Stratford, Ontario, Canada, and drove up in a city bus that was that had a police escort. The Must bus, be nice, right? <laughs> yeah. The bus dropped him off at the door because he didn't want to get grass on his shoes. So he oh. and his friends apparently enter Walmart and start terrorizing people. They start flashing lights in little girls' eyes. They start running around the store, throwing a bunch of stuff everywhere. And this is his hometown, Jocelyn. Like this, I'm sorry. Justy, Justy. Just uh, sorry, Justy. This How is, dare you? <laughs> this is his hometown, and there are a lot of people there who knew him, including one store goer who put him in his place. I love this man. So his name is Mike Malco, and he took to Facebook and let it rip and just basically told him off, told Walmart off, told Justin's parents off. He said, Justin, shame on you. You know, from get-go, I supported your ass, always saying he's a kid, money has got to him, he'll find his way back. You disgust me. Yes, I am happy I told you exactly what I thought of you. Shame on Walmart for allowing it to happen. If I walked with my seven-year-old son and he acted that way, we would be asked to leave or escorted out. He's like, your parents must be really proud. So he is really P.O.'d. Well, here's what I don't understand at all. Obviously, I haven't seen any photos or videos of this, so it's still speculation. But if you're Justin Bieber and you have as much money as he does have, why are you at Walmart doing this? You must be really bored. Is He's there anything bored. else to do in Stratford, Ontario, Canada? He's bored. That's exactly right. Now he's also in Miami, apparently. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess he's, he's jet setting traveler. right now. Yeah. He was in Miami with some of his, oh, this is the best part. The, <laughs> Mike is calling him and his, his friends a bunch of goons. What an interesting word. How can I like that word? I'm into I want to use that more in my vocabulary. Yes. Justin and his goons are now in Miami terrorizing some guy who's like staying underneath them in a balcony. It's so funny. So they're just bored. They're just, they don't have enough to do and they're a bunch of kids. I could give them something to do. If you guys want to do my laundry, clean my house, wash my car, oh. I would totally be okay with that. Justin, give us a call. All right, so out and about today, Ariana took to her Twitter page, you guys, to address all of these Sam and Cat, Jeanette McCurdy, rumor, drama stuff. Yeah. You have the details. Yeah, so this is sort of a crazy story that all got started right after the Kids' Choice Awards. Exactly. When Jeanette McCurdy, who is literally one of the queens of Nickelodeon, right. did not show up to Nickelodeon's biggest annual event. And essentially what she said was that there was some sort of mistreatment, that Nickelodeon had done something to her. And fans took to Twitter immediately to start rumors, to start buzz, and then TMZ came out with a report that all of this was going down because Ariana Grande was making more money and Jeanette was jealous. Well, Ariana is setting the record straight. She took to Twitter, even though she said she hates this kind of stuff and she didn't really want to address it, but she right. felt like she had to. She tweeted out to say, I hate addressing rumors and I hate gossip, but this is really bothering me. Jeanette and I agreed up front that we'd be treated equally on this show in all regards, as we should be, considering we each work just as hard as the other on this show. She went on and on, called all of the rumors false, called the quotes idiotic, but mainly what she wanted <laughs> to get across is that they want to be treated equally. She believes fairness is the most important thing, and there is no truth to any of these rumors that she is making more money. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool of her to go on the record because 
Otherwise, it, there would still be buzz all yeah, around that. I feel like Ariana doesn't want this to spiral out mm -hmm. of control and that she probably saw that it already had. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, everybody on set is tired. They've done 40 episodes this season. Which is about double That's what crazy. a normal TV season is. So I bet you they are just at a point in the show where they're trying to revamp where they want to go and what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And then they're obviously Jeanette has some stuff she needs to work out with Nickelodeon personally. Right. But it's good to know that there's no animosity mm -hmm. between her and Ariana. Yeah, well, Ariana did sort of acknowledge the fact that there is a problem. She actually referenced a problem in one of her tweets, but she said that she's not connected to it. She has nothing to do with it. So this really is something that Jeanette is dealing with on her own. And, you know, I hope they work it out because this is one of the top rated shows on the network. And, and fans it's big want more. for Jeanette's career. It sure is. From one very amazing singer taking to Twitter to set some things straight, to another singer taking to Twitter to start some trending things happening. What's happening with Katy Perry? That's right, Katy Perry was trending crazy style yesterday when she took to Twitter to give us the best TBT throwback Thursday of all time. So she teased us at first saying this on Twitter. This was her tweet. In honor of TBT, may I present the cover of my next Single, except when we saw it, it was still blurry. We were like, Who it was this interesting. Other There's like, she clearly doesn't like someone in this photo, right? Or does she? Oh. Uh, so the next tweet that she sent out read this If you would like to see my sister's amazing face <laughs> and pose, get hashtag birthday trending to the top and I will unlock the genius with you. Ha ha ha. Genius it was indeed. It was. And everything you could have hoped for when she, her fans did get it trending and she did what she promised and it unveiled the photo of her sister and it was adorable. Genius. I mean, I just want to like reenact it like all the time, all day long. I feel like every child of the 90s, myself included, has this photo somewhere at their parents' house with a oh, massive yeah. bow on their head. And I just love the fact that when you're Katy Perry, that means you can literally embarrass your sister forever and make this your yes. single cover. I love for it. Birthday. I love it. But Katy Perry's parents, seriously, what were you <laughs> thinking? That that is not. You can't do that to your children. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes for some great TBTs. Seriously. So. <laughs> so I'm excited about the single, but she's going on tour soon, right? Mm -hmm. She is going on the Prismatic World Tour, kicking off very soon in May, actually, um, in Ireland which is gonna be awesome. And I also wanna point out that I feel like she's releasing birthday because her half birthday is April 25th. Her real birthday is October 25th. So maybe since she's so close to her half birthday, that's why she chose And I also love the juxtaposition out. of the single cover with the actual song, which is kind of a very sexual, raunchy song. Right? But she's gonna put this photo as the cover. You know what, Katie, Playful. you do what you do, girl. You do it. This Friday, we have the cutest couples news Love ever it. in the world. So Emma Stone and Andrew Garfield were out promoting their brand new new movie, which I'm so excited Me for. Too. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is coming out very soon. And so they're out promoting the movie, and they took a stop by Ellen to chat with her. Jamie Foxx, who plays the main villain in that movie, was there as well. And Ellen played this really fun game of that very scandalous and very revealing <laughs> game, Never Have I Ever. I'm sure none of you out there have ever played it, because Jocelyn and I have never played it. You mean just Jisty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jocelyn may have played it, but not Jisty. I don't know about her. <laughs> but we um, have the, the video of their adorable game, and Ellen asked the first question, never have I ever had a one night stand? Ooh. And here is what they said. Never ever have I had a one night stand. <laughs> Clearly, someone was lying with their yeah. answer. I feel like there was a little bit of like massaging the truth <laughs> happening here. Massaging being the key word. <laughs> but, uh, but I love it. Um, now, it didn't stop there. It actually got more scandalous. So Ellen, yeah. because she's so lovable and she can get away with asking questions like this, the next question was, never have I ever sexted? <sighs> never have ever have I, I sexted. Sexted? Sexted. <laughs> well, if you have to ask, then you No, I, I think I know what you mean. <laughs> so they didn't really necessarily know what sexting was, but it was clear that there has been some exchanging of affectionate text messages. Textual relations. relations. <laughs> <laughs> um, going on. And you guys, it gets even better. So Emma Stone recently had a near meltdown when she was in an interview with a, a, a reporter who 
gave her a message from Mel B from the Spice Girls because Emma Stone is one of the biggest Spice Girls Huge fans. Huge Spice Girls She started fans. crying, like immediately could not keep it together. Hi, Emma. Oh my God, is this. Mel B talking to me? Yes. Oh my God, I'm so ready? excited. I'm legitimately got... crying. Oh, I'm no, the biggest Jimmy. Spice Girls fan ever. Okay. So she went to Jimmy Kimmel last night for to promote Spider-Man and Kimmel said, you know, I learned that you have a new talent and that is being able to actually sign all of the autographs of all of the Spice Girls. She revealed that she hasn't done this since she was a little girl, but she was up for the challenge and she did a pretty good job. Take a look. We are going to start with Sporty Spice as pictured here. Now there we have, um, that's <clears throat> Love Mel C. Let's hold that up to the that camera. One. And we will compare it to, wow. <laughs> There's not a big news story here. The only thing there is to say about this is that I'm totally now in love with Emma Stone just as a person. And oh, she and yes. Andrew Garfield are the cutest couple ever. So. I love it. I was very worried about them being together because a friend of mine recently saw Andrew Garfield eating breakfast alone and it was a very alone? big breakfast. Oh. And I mean, I just was like, where's Emma Stone? Well, good news. And I'm very dramatic. <laughs> Obviously. She's very concerned. We have good news, we have proof, <laughs> evidence that they're still together. All Thank is you. well. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> that time of the show of the week. We're picking our very next Clever at you guys. And before we get into that, Jocelyn, yes. Jocelyn's ready. She's I'm like, ready. I have a drum roll going, the guys. Before we get there, we do have a couple of shout outs. Just Steve. I keep messing <laughs> up your name. Uh, it's fine. Just I'll let it go. <laughs> First up is Majir Deguchi, who about the April Fool's show that right. came earlier this week about right. Miley Cyrus' pregnancy said, we it. you guys got me good. Uh, yay, <laughs> I love that. We had some photoshopping going on yes. in some of our assets, so we're glad we got you. We got a lot of people, actually. Yes. Um, but we, one person that we did not get was Juju Wahaya Q. I don't know if I got that one right. Um, she says, fake, Miley is not pregnant. Check your sources. Oh, Excuse girl. Excuse me if you'd have watched to the end of the video, Juju Wahusk. You, you would have found out that we said it was April Fool's. April, April Fool's. Fool's. So you gotta Joe. watch all the way to the end of the videos, you guys. Don't just look at the headline. I know. All right, who's next? And then next? we had Camila Colomines who said, wait, I just told all my friends Miley was pregnant. LOL. That was an April Fool. Uh, Again, watch the whole video, but we're glad. Tell all your friends, tell your dog, tell your cat, your neighbors, tell your grandma, tell everybody. Yeah, watch the entire Everyone. Now, get ready. I I'm ready. Time girl. for the cleverette. I'm Time ready. For the ready? I'm Here we ready. go. Cleverette of the week is Nicole Viva. Yay, Nicole. Nicole, the reason why we chose you as cleverette of the week because also in the April Fool's video, we got her good, but this is, I got, Misty and I both got such a giggle out of this when we read it. She says, I thought they were real. I was all, mom, Miley's prego. <laughs> um, the fact that you shared our videos with your mom makes us love you and yes. you deserve Clever of the Week. You guys, everybody out there, start sharing these videos with your mom. Yeah, make it friends. a family affair. Oh. We're, we're bringing families together here at for Clever. For sure, guys. for sure. So you guys, thank you so much for all of your comments, all of your tweets. We love you so, so much and happy Friday and we'll see you here, same time, same place on Monday. Bye guys. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching you guys. We hope you share this video with all of your friends, but don't forget to click the video here to see yesterday's TBT episode and do not forget to subscribe.